What's going on guys? So today I fixed a big problem regarding OBS chapter markers. So in Premiere Pro, the problem is whenever you have your chapter markers in OBS and then you use them and then you drag the video in Premiere Pro, it doesn't show up because Premiere Pro does not read the chapter markers like it does in DaVinci Resolve. I don't know what other programs it does, you know, read in, but in Premiere Pro it does not read it. So I'm going to give you guys a free extension to use to actually take the chapter markers outside of the video and put them into Premiere Pro. So first, let me show you how this works. So right here I have a video that I recorded with OBS and I did some chapter markers. And if I drag it in, there is no chapter markers. But if I drag the same video in to DaVinci Resolve, there's chapter markers right here. And as you see, these chapter markers do have custom names. And in OBS, normally, you can't actually have custom names. It's just one chapter marker without a name or maybe the name is just chapter marker. So I'm going to be teaching you how to also install the plugin for OBS so you could actually have these custom names. And there's also custom colors in OBS. Let me show you with the plugin. So this is what it looks like in DaVinci Resolve. And this is how my extension works in Premiere Pro. So you would select the video. You would either select the chapter markers to go inside of your video or on the timeline. So let me do videos real quick. And now as you see here, it's colored and the names are here and it goes perfectly fine and you could also extend the chapter markers like I have it right now but on default it's actually everything is turned off so let's just right click on the timeline clear markers let's right click on the video and clear markers and now as you see here it's like the DaVinci Resolve too you could make it exact like DaVinci Resolve and now you have the same exact markers. They're colored this time, unlike DaVinci Resolve. And there's also a start marker that OBS normally adds. But I, if you guys want to keep that, you could go in the settings and click on keep OBS start marker on. And now if you guys do the same thing, it puts that start marker at the very beginning. So, so first, let me show you guys how we set up the chapter markers in OBS before we actually install this extension to Premiere Pro. So normally, what your OBS would look like is like this. You would go into settings and you would go into hotkeys to set up the add chapter marker right here. And you could only add the chapter marker for a hybrid MP4 slash MOV video. So this means you would have to go into output recording and change your recording format to hybrid MP4 or hybrid MOV. But as you see here, there is only one add chapter marker and you can't change the name of it. So what you guys want to do is you want to close out of OBS and then you would want to go into the first link in the description to download the plugin called Additional Chapter Marker Hotkeys. So once you're on this page, you want to click on Go to Download. And then once you're here, it's going to bring you to the GitHub page. You want to scroll all the way down and you want to click on OBS Name Chapter Hotkeys Installer.exe because you won't have to, you know, manually drag the plugin into your OBS folders. You just have to run the exe file. So you would just Select your location after you click, make sure you guys do click on the, on the text because that's how you download it. Okay, so now just save it to your desired location. Then after it's done downloading, you just, uh, and after it's down downloading, you just, you just, and after it's, fuck me. And after it's done downloading, you just run the exe file. Then it's going to give you a prompt. It's going to say Windows protected your PC. This means that it's a virus. I'm joking. Uh, this means you have to click on more info and run anyways. Now you're gonna get a pop-up. You probably won't see it on video, but it says, do you want to allow this app from a unknown publisher to make changes to your device? You wanna click yes. And then after you do that, it's gonna run you through the license information. You're gonna have to click on next and then click install. I'm not gonna do that because I already do have it installed. So after you do install it, you could close out of the program. And then let me just minimize this. And then I already have a OBS tab open, but you guys want to open up your OBS now. And the way you would actually add chapter markers and, you know, the colors for the chapter markers, which you do in the name, is you would go into tools. You would go into chapter hotkeys, which is a new thing that pops up in here. And I already have my chapter markers in, but the way you would create a new one is by clicking the plus sign. Then you would add a name to it, like uh, funny, funny, I can't spell, hold on, 
would type in like funny and then it would just pop up in here if you guys want to delete it click the minus sign on it if you guys want to edit the name click the rename button right here which is a cog wheel for some reason and you could just change the name of it so the way you would actually add colors is you would go over to premiere pro you would go over to the setting tab which you just hover up here and click on the cog wheel then click on this tab right here colors but right now you guys won't have it but just hold on real quick. Now there's only eight colors because it limits you to only eight for some reason. But the way you would name the thing is you would select one of these colors. You could click the copy button. Let's say you want to make the funny yellow. And then you would go back to your OB. Fuck. What? You would go back to your OBS. You would click the create new or you would click the rename. And then you would go at the beginning or the end. It depends. You don't have to do it at the beginning, but I would recommend doing it at the beginning. Then you would just command V, but my thing is actually set to that. So I'm gonna have to paste it like that. All right. And now look at that. And that's what you put in to give it actual color. Now you could put it at the end, but usually you guys might want to add something else at the end, like, you know, moment or like funny moment. So this is the way you would want to format it. You would do color name of your chapter marker, and then whatever you want. You could also do like brackets. It won't affect it if the first pair of brackets is at the beginning, okay? So that's the thing. You want the color brackets to be at the very beginning. If you wanna do another pair of brackets, you wanna do it after the color, okay? And the color name will delete as you see here in the thing. See, all of these did have the color in it. It was bracket red, close bracket, and then it was rage for example. Now that we understand how to actually add chapter markers, let me show you how you would add your hotkeys. You would go to settings and you would go hotkeys and then you would go all the way down and then your hotkey should be underneath the quick transition fade to black. And then this uh, and then this is where you would put all your hotkeys. Now, if you guys do have this, I would recommend getting a stream deck like a cheap one. It doesn't have to be anything like expensive, like a actual stream deck that costs 150 bucks. It just has to be something simple but it really helps out and this speeds up your workflow so much more. And yeah, I'm going to be honest, this is really helpful and I've been using this for a while too. Okay, so now we're done with the OBS part. We already added all the chapter marker integration stuff to the video. Now let's install the extension, okay? So let me exit out of OBS and let me show you how to install the extension. To install the extension, you guys want to go down to the description and click the second link, which is going to bring you to my Patreon product page for the video marker extractor extension for Premiere Pro. You guys want to scroll all the way down until you see the attachments. You guys want to click the zip file down here or click download all. It doesn't matter. It's going to only install the zip file. And after you do install it, it's going to tell you where to download it. Just put it anywhere you guys want and save it. And now after it's down, down fuck me now after it's done downloading you guys want to click on the folder it's going to open it up right here wherever you download it you want to right click on the zip then you want to click extract all you want to click extract or you could click on browse and extract it somewhere else if you just click extract it's going to extract in the same folder right here in the downloads for me and then it's going to open up this folder in a separate window i don't know why it does that i'm just going to close out of it and open it in here and now you guys have three different things. This is the extension shortcut. This is where you drag this extension. So you would take this folder, you would open up your shortcuts and drag it in here. But before you do that, make sure you guys run this first. This is the add keys reg. This basically gives you administrator permissions like developer permissions for Premiere Pro. So you could run extensions. Without this, the extension won't work. And right here, if you guys just right click on it and edit in notepad, you guys could just take all this text and just give it to ChatGPT and tell it, is this safe? And it's gonna tell you it's safe. It's gonna tell you exactly what I told you. So make sure you guys run this. When you do run it, it's gonna give you a warning, but just run it anyways. Then click on yes. And then it's gonna tell you it's gonna change some values. You wanna click yes. And then it's gonna change the registry numbers from zero to one for the CSXS stuff for Adobe, I believe. And then after you do that, it's done. Now extensions will work with your Premiere Pro if you hadn't done this already previously with other extensions. So now what you guys wanna do is copy this folder by clicking Command C, and then you wanna go to your extension shortcut. And if this doesn't bring you in the right location, the right data path for this folder right here would be program files on C. So you would go to your C drive, program files, common files, Adobe, CEP and extensions. And after you guys come over here, you want to paste it in by clicking command V 
but for some reason my shit doesn't work. I just have to paste it like that. For me, it says you want to replace the files. I'm not going to replace it because I already have it installed. But after you do install it, you guys could just exit out of all this. And now it's installed to your Premiere Pro. Just launch it up, open up your project. And then let me just clean the slate. And now what you guys want to do to actually see the extension is you want to go up here to window. You want to hover over to extensions and it should be right over here. Video marker extractor. And then it should open up right here in its own window. You guys could either just, you know, keep it as a separate window or you could do what I do and just dock it somewhere. Uh, for this video, I, I want to dock it here. But what I would recommend doing is actually docking it with your effects or, you know, somewhere in one of these tabs. You just want to dock it in here because whenever you need it, all you have to do is click the arrows and then click on video marker extractor and then it's right here. You could use it. And if you keep it right here, it's always going to be there. It's always going to take up space and make everything, you know, more cluttered. But for this video, I'll just keep it right here next to it. And now let's go through the settings real quick, okay? You guys already saw how the marker extractor worked. Hold on, let me erase the markers. So now to use it, like I showed you guys, you select the video you want to extract the markers from and then you either select timeline or markers. I'm gonna just leave it on timeline, which is gonna put it up here. You would click extract. And now as you see here, all the markers get extracted. You could do it on video as well and extract it while it's still selected and it puts them in here. And now if you guys want to get rid of these markers, all you would have to do is if it's in your timeline, make sure the video is unselected. Then you could just right click up here on the timeline and click clear markers. And if you guys want to clear these markers, you want to click on the video and then click on, right click on the timeline. And if you guys want to clear these markers, you would want to click on the video and then right click up on the timeline and click clear markers and that would clean it up. Okay, so now let's go through the settings. So to open the settings, you guys want to hover up here and then the cogwheel should pop up. You guys want to click the cogwheel and then it'll bring you in general settings right here. The first thing is extend markers. So this is basically not going to keep the markers just one like single marker. You could actually see the text if you extend it. And the first setting right here is you could either connect the markers and make them all connect you know, end to end, or you could set a marker duration. So if I set a marker duration for like one second and then click on escape and then extract the to timeline, as you see here, all the markers extend only one second. Okay. It says here duration one second, all of them. And if you guys go to settings and then you connect the markers, you can't change their duration because now they're just going to connect all the time. So you would just unselect and clear markers. And now if you select the video, the markers all extend. And now let me explain something to you. In OBS, when you use chapter markers, there will be a start marker at the beginning of your video all the time. Okay. So if you do want to keep this for some reason, you guys could go up into the settings, scroll all the way down and click on keep OBS start marker. And now when you do extract it, the start marker is going to be there as well. And if you guys were wondering, extend markers also work on the video if you want to put it on there. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons of video markers versus timeline markers. So let's start with video markers. Video markers are good if your clips are already edited and, you know, they're already chopped up and everything. As you see here, if we cut the clip up, we edit it however we want. We make it smaller. We create duplicates like this and then change them around you know you just do whatever you want with it and now you guys just select it and click extract and as you see here it extracted every single thing from the video so if you just extend the video all the markers are going to be there all right Ooh, there is a problem here all right guys so i just updated the extension to work properly when the clips are trimmed so now if you just select one that's trimmed extract it all the markers are going to be in the correct place. So there you go, guys. So as you guys see here, no matter how edited your video is, if you select any clip and extract it, it's going to extract it properly for everything. So now everything is updated. And this is because the video is treated as a whole sequence. So if you select the video itself, you open it up and then look at the source clip it's saved in here. It's not saved in the timeline. The pros of video markers is all the markers are going to be there no matter how much you cut it. 
no matter how much you edit it, they're always going to be there in the same place and it will update for all the clips. Now, the only con with video markers is that it saves the video markers on every single audio clip. So that could be quite annoying. And now timeline markers, the good thing about timeline markers is as you see here, if we generate them, it doesn't block anything in your view. You could zoom in, zoom out, you could view it however you want and it will just be easy to look at. Now the issue with timeline markers is if you move the clip around, they're not going to stay with the clip. They're not attached to the clip like the video markers are. So that's one issue. Now the other issue is if you make the clip shorter and cut off some markers and then if we clear this and then extract it, it's only going to extract the markers that it sees in front. So it's only going to extract the ones that are in the range. So in that case, it was BS moments and glitch. So that's the issue with timeline markers. So now let me show you guys how we would get the video markers without it being in the audio as well. So to do that, you guys do want to start from fresh. You guys would want to start this from a fresh video. You can't really do this to an already edited video because it would be a hassle to do that. So just drag your clip in and then you would want to just clear this real quick. And what you guys want to do is right click on your clip right here. Make sure you unlink your selection and then select the clip and click on nest and then just call this whatever you want. I'll call it clip. Then after you nest it, you want to open up your nest and then you want to select your clip in here and extract for timeline markers. So now as you see here, the timeline markers are inside the timeline. But if you go into sequence, the timeline markers show up in the nest. So now it looks like it's the video markers, but just for the video. So now you guys could just edit this however you want. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys really enjoyed this extension of mine and this is really going to help you out, make sure you guys like, subscribe and comment. If you guys don't, then I'll probably make this extension like $2,000. So make sure you guys do support me because I do make these extensions free when other people would make them like 30, 40, 50 bucks. So yeah. Um, you guys better watch these videos because no one watched them and I put a lot of effort in and I don't know why you guys didn't watch them. So make sure you guys watch them too. Bye.